Xiao Yu. We are the public speaking teachers at Paying Chinese Summer Camp. This week we focused on emotional portrayal through word inflection as well as hand gestures. As well as memorization techniques, peer revision, and active listening. Enjoy the video! Hi, I'm Lindsay, and I'm going to recite The Struggle for Human Rights by Eleanor Roosevelt. The Human Rights Commission was given its first and most important task, the preparation of an international bill of rights. The General Assembly, which opened its third session here in Paris a few days ago, will have before it the first fruit of the Commission's labors in this task, that is the International Declaration of Human Rights. The Declaration was finally completed after much work during the last session of the Human Rights Commission in New York in the spring of 1948. The Economic and Social Council has sent it without recommendation to the General Assembly together with other documents transmitted by the Human Rights Commission. It was decided in our commission that a Bill of Rights should contain two parts. One, a declaration which could be approved through action of the member states of the United Nations and the General Assembly. This declaration would say to the peoples of the world, this is what we hope human rights may mean to all peoples in the years to come. We have put down here the rights that we consider basic for individual human beings the world over to have. Without them, we feel that the full development of individual personality is impossible. Two, the second part of the bill, which, has not, which the Commission has not yet completed because of the lack of time, is a covenant which would be in the form of a treaty to be presented to the nations of the world. Each nation, as prepared to do so, would ratify this covenant, and the covenant would then become binding to the nations which adhere to it. Each nation ratifying would then be obligated to change its laws wherever they did not conform to the points contained in the covenant. 